Hey Riverhawk fans, welcome back to this week's edition of the Riverhawk Report and to the last edition of this month of January, and it was a quick one. As always, I'm your host, Ben Nahn. Well, Jihad Thomas put up 30 points this past week, as well as the 20th anniversary of the Songus Center. All this and more coming up with the No Nonsense. We start off on the hard court, and for the men's basketball team, they grabbed their second win in conference this past week with an 82-79 victory against Stony Brook. This was their first victory over the Seawolves at the Division I level. Jihad Thomas t- tied a career high with 30 points shooting, 11 of 15 from the field, and went 7 of 10 from the charity stripe. Matt Harris came up clutch with a game-tying three-pointer late in the second half to propel the game into overtime. Pat Duquette's squad cannot keep the good times rolling on Saturday when the Hartford Hawks came into town and had a come-from-behind win. Thomas's week earned him an AEC Co-Player of the Week nod, and the Riverhawks look to bounce back at Maine on Wednesday. We turn to the pond now, and it was an exciting week to remember. It was the 20th anniversary of the Song is Center, and we celebrated that as the Riverhawks hosted the Boston College Eagles on Friday night as the game was also televised on Nesson. Ryan Collins got the scoring started early in the second period, while Ryan Domowski pushed the lead to 2-0. Two goals by the Eagles nodded up the game at two late in the third period until Chris shoots and he scores found the back of the net to secure a 3-2 victory. Tyler Wall also proved himself instrumental in net. On Saturday night at Chestnut Hill, well, the Riverhawks fell by a score of 5-2. At 15-12, they had the weekend off, but welcome AIC next Tuesday for an evening clash. Women's basketball team hit the road last Wednesday and they kept it close up in New York, but the Stony Brook Seawolves won 59-50. In the loss, Kayla Gibbs continued to shine as she scored 17 points and had a total of 9 rebounds, nearing a double-double. Saturday, they could not keep the pace with a strong Hartford team, but they do welcome Maine to the Song Center this Wednesday to cap off the month of January for a field trip day where there will be plenty of students in the stands. The game will tip off at 11 a.m. Some records were broken this past weekend for both the men and women indoor track and field team, including Paul Hogan, who broke a 3,000 meter run record with a time of eight minutes, 6.45 seconds. Hogan's performance highlighted a strong weekend for the men. And for the women, Allie Wood broke a school record as well with her performance in the 880 meter. Wood wrote her name into the UMass Lowell record book with a time of two minutes, 9.78 seconds. It's now everyone's favorite time of the show, your Circle Health Plays of the Week. A trifecta of plays this week, starting with the number three, the Saturday night game against the BC Eagles, and Charlie Levesque trying to trim the lead down, and he gets one here, bar down, for yet another goal on the season. Take another look at this one. Top shelf for Levesque, but they fell 5-2. to two. And number two, we turn to the hard court, and Matt Harris, as clutch as you can get with the tray right there, to tie it with 26 seconds left, the game would go into overtime, and the Riverhawks would defeat the Stony Brook Seawolves 82 to 79. And our number one play of the week, Tom Karen with the and call. Now the response from the Eagles, and here shoots for the Riverhawks. He scores! Shoots, shoots, and scores! And it's a 3-2 lead for the Riverhawks. Yes, sir. Chris shoots with the game winner in their 3-2 victory over the BC Eagles. Those are your circle health plays of the week. Well, I know everyone's gearing up for Super Bowl Sunday, but make sure you stop by Wednesday morning at the Songus Center for field trip day with plenty of students in the stands. The women's basketball team will be taking on Maine at 11 a.m. is the tip-off. On behalf of the Riverhawk Network, I'm Ben Nahn.